Alright, so I got home and uh, I, I cleaned it off already, but there was a scattering of particles. Maybe they were seeds or eggs. Uh, there's some that I didn't clean up, uh, so I'm trying to I'm trying to capture them. There's there's a few. What are they? It's very difficult. Very difficult to zoom. I don't know if I can even focus to that level. I have, I have an idea. Alright, so what I got was the, the spider tripod, which just could be fitting if this is if this is an insect that we're dealing with. Uh, but it was in such a, a uniform smattering, it was like a cloud of cloud of this stuff. It must like I first thought it was like the the crumbs from f like maybe my pizza. But they're they look like seeds or something or two. They can't be pizza crumbs. It doesn't make sense because there is nothing. And I didn't even eat. I don't think I ate the pizza here to begin with. Uh, let me see if I can. It's just very difficult to get this. Oh, I, yeah. I need one of those like lab work style things, or maybe. Uh, And there's a few. Put the light underneath. Maybe that'll... Or did someone break into my apartment? I mean, they look like... Are they cockroach turds? I mean, it's, I'm, try, I'm trying not to be funny. This is a funny thing. It's absurd. But it's real. I mean, it's something that happened while I was away and I got home and I saw it. There's, it's like a constellation. You know, and you see how tiny they are. They're really. I'm doing a slow, a slow zoom out just so you can get an idea. Howdy, folks. Uh, okay, I looked under my. I was just toil, toiling the cleaning products to clean up whatever it was, <coughs> and uh, I noticed more of that stuff under the sink. So I'm, I strongly suspect now that it is cockroach turds and that they have infested and overnight, uh, look at that stuff, man. It's like, it's like who, who can live with that? Uh, but I, you mean I should have taken the video before I cleaned up on top of that glass counter initially because it was, it looked like I had spilled pizza crumbs. Like, I mean, it looked, it must have been crumbs, but it was, it was a madhouse. It was a lot. So they must overnight hang out. I must have computer bugs, literally cockroaches that hang out on top of my computer desk in during the day or when I'm not here and just poop, poop like crazy. And I don't see them that often. I remember when I first moved in, I saw in the kitchen on the ground a bunch of cockroaches. I mean, not all at once. I maybe saw one, a couple of nights, because I was afraid. I was afraid of washing my hands in the bathroom because in the bathroom uh, the sound isn't isn't good. It connects directly with the neighbors. Uh, sound soundproofing in this this apartment isn't very good, uh, and so if I, I was afraid, self-conscious of washing my hands in the bathroom sink at night because I didn't want to wake them up or have people aware of my presence. Uh, so I would come out to the kitchen to wash my hands. And at midnight, it was like I was living, sharing a home with a stranger because there was like just cockroaches there, just crawling around in my sink. Uh, I mean, I'm, like I said, we get pest control here uh, once every two months, I think, but I don't think they're doing that great of a job, obviously. If I'm, I mean, you saw my back. The, those, I mean, I, I have to admit it now, it's becoming more and more plausible that those were insect bites. Uh, and then looking at all this poop under the sink on my glass. Uh, the, the the ants, those ants crawling out. I mean, that was. You guys should have seen it before I got the stupid. Uh, before I got the stupid uh, ant bait, because uh, they were swarming. Uh, you know, and I tried using at first white vinegar. White vinegar was okay, but after a while, the ants just went past the white vinegar. But I mean, you, I mean, look at this. Look at this. Oh, the horrible edificery. 
I mean, this is, I didn't do this. This is how when I moved in, and it's, uh, and there's no way, this is, this is time warp. I mean, look at, you saw that crap, let's look at it again. But for posterity's sake, I am. And, and when you're, when you're a new resident and you're first moving in, these things, I mean, if you've never had your own apartment, you look at them as minor trifles. You know, you should be gracious to have your own place. Why are you complaining about tiny little cracks in the seam? But lo and behold, you know, this is where it's at. This is the problems. This is where everything falls apart and you've got to live with it. You know, it might look like you're getting a deal. Uh, and then look at the... I don't know if you can see that. This is in the kitchen. Uh, and there's, there's another ant making his merry, merry way. Let's do a slow zoom. Cinematic, right? Life and art blended together. Getting the shakes. I don't have image stabilization uh, enabled. Normally I use the tripod. Or this, this, the spider. The spider, uh, the spider tripods. But uh, there's, there's another one up here too. They're just making their merry way. Numero uno. Numero dos. And look at that. There's another dent in the ceiling. There's another crack painted over. This is what they do. When I first moved in here, it just reeked of paint. I mean, it was obvious why, because they just slather it with cheap, cheap paint after each tent leaves, so everything looks the, the illusion of being nice. Uh, and then, then the moisture, you use the kitchen a couple of weeks and then the paint starts, the cheap paint starts to, to peel or, and you, everything starts coming apart and the ants start crawling out of their ant work. Uh, I mean, the best of plans of ants and, ants and men, or whatever, or whatever is, is supposed to be. Uh, but there you have it. There you have it. Ain't, ain't no, ain't no joke. Like an artichoke. This is, this is life, as you know it. And you got, you gotta say, and you gotta complain, and throw a hula blah, and you, you, see, you interact with people in, in an office, and it seems like they're doing their job, and that they, you know, cut them some slack. But uh, we're all just cogs making it possible, right? Uh, and who, who is responsible, right? Not me. Not him. You're responsible, right? But there you go. There you have it. Enjoy, uh, enjoy.